So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload and visualize the raster, shapefile and CSV files in Google Earth Engine. So now let's get started. So first we're going to upload our raster uh, image in uh, Google Earth Engine. So let me show you that. So this is the art map interface here. So you can able to visualize we have three different data for our datas here. So the first one which represents the point data. So you can able to see which is in CSV file, file format. So which is indicated here in the red color points and next uh, which indicates our raster image that is our NDWI raster image and last we have our shape file in uh, boundary country boundary so we can able to visualize that so we have three different file formats so we have this uh, CSV and uh, we have this raster and the shape file so first we're gonna upload this particular raster let me show you that so this is a raster image we're going to upload into Google Earth Engine. So to upload a raster image in Google Earth Engine, first we have to navigate to this option called Assets. And in that, we have to click this option called New. So uh, we have to click this option called GeoTIFF or TF Records. So click this option called GeoTIFF. So once you did that, a window pops up saying Upload in a new image asset. So to upload the new uh, raster image into Google Earth Engine, so first we have to click this option called select. So now you have to navigate to the folder location where you saved your raster files. So I'm going to navigate to my folder location. So where I've saved my raster file. So this is a folder location. I have saved my raster file. So I'm going to click this folder. And uh, we have to select this specific file format called TIFF. So I will show you that here. So please drag and drop or select file for this asset. So the allowed extensions are, extensions are the TIFF, TIF, JSON, TR record, uh, TF records or TF record dot GZ. These are the following allowed extension for to upload a raster image in Google Earth Engine. So now I'm going to select this particular uh, file format called TIFF file. So I'm going to click this and uh, I'm going to click OK. That I'm going to click open. So once you did that, so why? Uh, in the bottom we have several different options here we have this property sections so these are the meta properties metadata property about the asset which can be edited during the asset upload and uh, we have this options here the advanced options so we're going to leave it as a default here we're going to click this option called upload so once you did i have clicked your upload option here so navigate to the section called task and in that you can able to see there is an unsub unsubmitted task so currently it is uploading our uh, raster file into uh, Google Earth Engine so you can able to visualize the upload percentage which is indicated here so usually it takes around uh, a minute or uh, two to upload this raster image so based on your raster file size so larger the file size so it takes a bit longer so uh, this file is around 40 MB so it's gonna upload in uh, a one or two minute so now uh, it is uploaded our uh, raster image so so it's processing here so it's going to add this particular raster image in our asset section now so uh, it will take around a minute so now here you can able to visualize it has uploaded our raster image into uh, google earth engine so uh, to visualize this particular file we had navigated this uh, to the cloud asset section here so now we had to click this option called refresh the asset uh, catch and now once you did that it's going to pop up here so now here you can able to visualize this particular uh, file name ndwy1 which is uh, similar to an art map so we have seen here let me get back to earth engine so once you've uploaded uh, uploaded your raster image to visualize it we have to click this option called import into script so uh, it's going to add this uh, particular image into uh, earth engine so by adding a variable called image so now to visualize this particular image so we're going to enter some basic code here so we're going to enter as map dot uh, add layer so now we're going to mention this particular variable name called image so we're going to mention the variable called image here and once you did that we can add this uh, colon here and next uh, to center this particular raster image we're going to mention as map dot center object so now we can specify this variable name so the variable name is mentioned as image so you're going to enter the variable name image 
and I'm going to specify the zoom level. So I'm going to specify the zoom level around 9 and uh, I'm going to add this. So once you did that, uh, we're going to click this option called run. So we're going to visualize the result here. So you can able to visualize the images in currently in uh, black. So to uh, visualize it in uh, so it looks kind of black here. So uh, to uh, visualize in uh, color, so we have to navigate this or layer uh, layer of section here. So in the layer one, we're gonna click this option, and here uh, you can able to visualize. It is currently in uh, one band. So uh, we can select this uh, option called custom, and in that we're gonna select this option called stretch 100 percentage. And you can also add some color palette to it. So it is basically this raster is the NDWI that is normalized difference water index. So it used to identify the water uh, in that particular area. So we're going to use this particular uh, raster we have generated. So to add some color, we're going to click this option called palettes. And I'm going to click this option called plus simple. And I'm going to add the different colors to it. First, I'm going to click red. And next, I'm going to click uh, some yellow. And you go next, I'm going to click green. And last, I'm going to click blue. So once you did, we're going to click OK. And I'm going to click apply and close so now you can able to visualize the image here clearly so this is our ndwy raster image so which is similar to this particular one that is an arc map so you can able to visualize the result here in our earth engine here and similarly so we're gonna upload our shape file into uh, in our google earth engine so so now we're gonna upload a shape file into google earth engine so we're gonna add this particular uh, shape file so this particular country boundary, let me show you that. So this is the country boundary we're going to add into our Google Earth Engine. So this particular country is called India. So we're going to upload this particular boundary here in the Google Earth Engine. So to upload our shape file, similar, we're going to navigate to the assets section. And in that, we have to click this option called New. And uh, we have to click this option called, in the this particular section here, we have to click this option called Shape Files. So let me click that. So now a new window pops up saying upload a new shapefile asset and make sure that you have to uh, drag and drop the following selected allowed extensions here like shp, zip, dbf, prj, chx, CB, uh, cpg, fix, qix, sbn or S, uh, shp.xml. These are the following allowed extension that can be uploaded into your Google Earth Engine. So let me click this option called select. So it's going to navigate to your folder location. So you have to navigate your folder location. So I have navigated to my folder location. This is my folder called shape file. So I'm going to select the following extension that is mentioned in this section here. So I'm going to select uh, this particular shape file CPG. So it is available here. I'm going to hold my control key in my keyboard. And I'm going to select this following extension called CPG nx dbf dbf is available and prj is available and cbn is also available cbx is not available here and next uh, we're going to select this particular this is a shape file so we're going to select this one and uh, next you're going to select this chx this is the shape file called chx you can able to see here it is mentioned here chx so uh, chx is mentioned here we're going to click this and we're going to cl uh, click this option called open so to upload this uh, this is the asset id the asset name you can change your name according to your choice here for the specific asset so i have mentioned as uh, this in, uh, country named india so next these are the following properties and these are the advanced options that is available here so i'm going to leave it as a default here and i'm going to click this option called upload so once you did in the task section here you can see that it, there is an uh, unsubmitted task here so uh, it started uploading our uh, shapefile into uh, Google Earth Engine here. You can able to see that. So usually it takes around uh, a minute or a minute to upload this particular shapefile. So now here you can able to visualize here. Our shapefile has been uploaded to our Google Earth Engine. So it took around a minute to upload it. So next we're going to add this shapefile into our Earth Engine and visualize the result. So similar to that, we can navigate to the asset section, click this option called refresh, the asset hatch catches and uh, now you can able to view this particular boundary called India. So this is the shape file, this is the shape file we uploaded. 
So to add this, we're going to click this option called import into script. So now it is given a, a variable called table. So you can also visualize this uh, particular uh, shape file here just by clicking here. So you can visualize the asset details about this particular shape file. So this is uh, so it is clearly indicated this particular part here. So this is a shape file, and uh, let me close this. So once you have uh, imp uh, inserted your uh, shape file into Earth Engine, so which is mentioned here as a variable table, so have uh, inserted using this option called import into script. So now to visualize this particular uh, particular shape file, so let me copy this. And I'm gonna paste it here. So I'm gonna change this particular name here. So I have mentioned as variable table here. So similarly, I'm gonna mention that uh, name table here. So now we can able to visualize. I have mentioned the variable table here as specified here. So once you did that, we're gonna click this option called run. And uh, we're gonna visualize this particular uh, entire. So let me zoom out here. So now here you can uh, able to see that. So we have managed to upload our shapefile into Google Earth Engine. So you can able to clearly visualize that. So next uh, we're gonna upload our CSV file here. So next we're gonna upload our Excel uh, CSV. So this is my folder CSV. Let me show you about this particular CSV uh, uh, Excel here. So it is Excel uh, which stored in the CSV file format. You can able to see that. So these are the following uh, the following points we're gonna upload into our Google Earth Engine. So you can able to see here. So we have a, a FID field, a longitude, latitude, and the rainfall. So this is basically a rainfall for that particular study area. So lat uh, containing longitude, latitude, and rainfall in millimeters. So now we're gonna upload this uh, into Google Earth Engine. So to upload that, we're gonna navigate to that similar to asset section here. Click this option called New. And now click this option called CSV file. So similarly now we have this window called upload a new CSV asset. So uh, we have this following extension that has allowed that is CSV file format. So now we're going to click this option called select. So we're going to select our Excel CSV file here containing a rainfall data. So let me navigate to the folder location where I've saved my uh, particular uh, CSV. So these, this is my CSV file format. So this file here, you can see that this is a file format. And I'm uh, gonna click this and click OK. So now here you can able to see the file path must uh, must not have any spaces. So basically we have uh, mentioned a space here. So I'm gonna rectify it. So let me navigate to the folder. So I'm gonna remove the space here. So I'm gonna remove this particular space here. So you can able to see that have removed this particular space here. Let us try once more time. So we're going to upload our CSV file. We're going to click this option called select. And now uh, navigates to our folder location. I'm going to click this rainfall CSV and click OK, open. So now next uh, you can change your assets uh, set name as you wish. So I'm going to leave it as a default. So next we can navigate to the advanced option here. So here you can able to see that there is an option called X column and Y column. So make sure that you uh, copy and paste your X, X and Y column here. Let me show you that. So this is my Excel file. I'm going to open this. So here you can able to see this is my uh, uh, latitude and longitude. So I'm going to copy this particular uh, latitude. Let me zoom this out. So I'm going to copy this lat and I'm going to paste it here. So I'm going to paste it here as a lat and for longitude. So similarly, I had to copy this particular uh, this uh, longitude field here. So it should be same as we have mentioned in this Excel here. So I'm going to paste it here in X column. I'm going to mention the field long. And once you did that, you can just navigate down here. It, uh, we're going to leave it as a default here. And uh, once you did that, we're going to click this option called upload. So now it's going to upload our uh, the particular CSV file into Google Earth Engine. So it's started. It's going to take a minute or less to upload this particular uh, CSV file. So now it has uploaded our CSV file to our Google Earth Engine. So it took uh, less than one minute to upload it. 
So uh, we can navigate to similarly to asset section and uh, gonna refresh it. So you can able to visualize this file called rainfall CSV. So I'm gonna click this option called import into script. So let me change this particular variable name as a point. So now I have mentioned as a point here. So we're gonna copy this one here. I'm gonna paste it here. And I'm gonna mention this particular variable name called point here. So here I have mentioned the variable name called point. So you can able to see that. So we're gonna click this option called run. So uh, you can able be gonna visualize this particular. So let me turn on this turn of this particular layer. That is our India India boundary. So you can able to visualize this uh, three points here. So we have this. Uh, it's getting loaded here. So this is the first point, and this is the second point, and the third point. So this is our three points. Uh, let me show you in my art map. So these are the three points here, which is uh, indicated. Uh, let me zoom to it. Similar to the point we have mentioned here. So you can able to see that here. So we have uh, managed to upload our raster, shape file and CSV file into our Google Earth Engine. So you can able to see that. So first we have uh, managed to upload our raster file and followed by we have uploaded our uh, shape file uh, country boundary India. So this is our shape file country boundary. So next uh, we have uploaded our CSV file. So this is the three dots points that represents of a CSV file here. So you can able to see that. So in this video I have shown you how to upload and visualize the raster shape file and CSV file in Google Earth Engine. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.